crack everyone, Jobber here, and Merry Christmas. Today is going to be absolutely insane. We are going to be popping open a 2002 Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon Tin. People are asking over $1,000 for these on eBay. We're going to pop one of these open in today's video, plus all these other... We got these random blister packs, these legendary packs that I found over at like Rite Aid, Target, Walmart. And we're gonna open all these in today's video. Jerry Beans Man has some first edition Portuguese LOB booster packs we're also gonna be opening. And we're gonna be giving away a first edition Genesis Impact booster box in today's video. And all you have to do is be a subscriber, give this video a like, hit that bell, comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards you see in today's video. And if you have an Instagram, follow me on there and say hi to me and I will always say hi back. And all right, so without any further ado, oh my gosh, again, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hopefully your guys' this year has been going okay. I know things have been kind of crazy out there. Try to stay positive. Be on me. Hopefully you guys are around some loved ones. I really do hope that. And uh, without any further ado, let's get cracking, everybody. All right, so we have the Jerry Beans man. He's been giving us some incredible luck lately. We will move him up here and let's pop open. So like I said, these come from Walmart most of the time. I've, I've heard other people find them from other random stores. So that's a little bit interesting, but we have an invasion of chaos and we're gonna open it up to this. And then obviously again, like I said, we will be popping open this blue eyes 2002 Kaiba tin and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll end the video with him. That'll be like the grand finale of today's Christmas opening extravaganza. So let's see what these random cards. So these kind of cool because you get the get the booster pack and then you get some random cards with it. I have gotten some pretty cool cards. Get, get, getting a couple of secret rares is not bad. Then we got some cool common cards, and then obviously an invasion of chaos. There are some amazing cards in there as well. They got uh, Black Cluster Soldier, Chaos Emperor Dragon, and then the Dark Magician of Chaos, which is a really powerful card. And let's see if we can go get a foil in general out of this pack. Jerry Beans, man, give me your power. Let's see if we can get something absolutely epic out of this Invasion of Chaos. Oh, nice, Green Maju, very cool. Kind of hard to get, actually. I need a, that actually makes my third one, and no foil, but a Suzuki Samurai number three. Got from our Invasion of Chaos booster pack. Not too bad, I will take it, actually. That Green Maju pole is nice. And let's move over here. So we have also so we have some dark. We have dark crisis. We have blue. We have the legend of blue eyes. We have Portuguese blue eyes. And now we have a we have one <laughs> straggler uh, spell ruler pack here. We will pop open. Let's see if we can go and get. <sighs> what do we want to pull here? I don't think we've ever pulled a relinquish on the channel from one of these packs. That would be absolutely insane. Of course. There's some incredible tune cards in here, like the Blue Eyes Tune Dragon, which is uh, my favorite secret rare from this set. And they got the crab turtle, which is really cool. <laughs> awesome looking ritual. And uh, let's see. No foil, we got the Horde of the Unicorn and equipped a monster gains 700 attack. Chain energy. Very cool. Final destiny. It's actually a pretty epic looking card, if I do say so myself. Molted destruction. Alrighty. Let's see, what do we want to open next? We have these packs right here. They're already out of their blisters, and these are Portuguese first edition LOB booster packs. We've opened up a few of these on the channel already. Let's go and see if we can get some foils out of here. We have, I believe I put 12 down, so I have 12 in total here. Let's go and see if we can go and get some incredible LOB pulls. And then we'll move over to Dark Crisis. And oh, right on. So we got a super rare first edition dark hole. Right on. That's really beautiful. And the speckling around the circle there looks like, I don't know, like extra nice. <laughs> I don't know. Looks really cool. Well, definitely going to get that sleeved up. Thank you, Jerry Beans, man, for your, uh, your foil love. And we'll put that over here and go through the rest of these commons, obviously. Always love the LOB set. I mean, you got the most iconic cards of iconic cards. You got the blue eyes white dragon. You got the dark magician. You got the red eyes black dragon and the unstoppable Exodia. All in one set. This is what makes LOB so fun. And then uh, obviously you've been seeing, probably seen the crazy prices that some of these cards have been having lately from the original one. So been really, really cool. And 
Oh, nice. We have back to back foils here. We have a super first edition Flame Swordsman, one of Joey's power cards. I feel that he didn't, on the original series, that there was no fusion summon. He was just able to normal summon the Flame Swordsman, which is really cool. And in one of, this, in one of the episodes, he actually became the Flame Swordsman. So that was pretty awesome. He was uh, teamed up with, what was it, Yugi, I believe? And Yugi uh, <laughs> you had to use him. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Oh my gosh. That's I'm coughing. Let's go and see if we can get some more. We got two foils back to back so far, not too bad. Yeah, 12 booster packs in total. The 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 Witty Phantom, nice little common card there. And we got a rare right there, nice instant fusion target. Another power Yugi card, he ran that. He comboed it with the, what is that, one of the arrow cards? He did that against uh, Kaiba for his Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to basically have it melt, pretty crazy. And again, I hope you guys are having a good time uh, today, uh, celebrating the holidays. Even if you don't do Christmas, hopefully you are just relaxing and having a good time, enjoying today's video. Oh my gosh, an ultimate first edition Dark Magician. Woo, oh wow, that is awesome. Talk about one of the most fan favorite cards ever. Oh my gosh, you have Yugi's power card itself, the Dark Magician. Wow, that's a high five to that. It gives me a thumbs up for Dark Magician. Oh my gosh, that is so insane. How beautiful. I love the first print. This is my favorite print of the Dark Magician. There's one other, there's a the jump one. And that was a really cool looking art of the Dark Magician as well. But my favorite is the original LOB, which is right here, Dark Magician. Wow. And it's first edition. That is awesome. And the I think it looks really good. Let's go sleeve this thing up. Take a look. I don't know if any of you are into grading or anything. I am just starting to dip my little pinky toe into it. So I am not knowledgeable at all. But I'm going to be mailing in a bunch of stuff to be great, and this will be one of them. That is insane. Wow, that is so beautiful. A Ultra First Edition Dark Magician. That is gorgeous. Nice. Right on. Well, thank you again, Jerry Beans, man. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep this. Uh, so we've gotten open four booster packs so far. We have eight more packs to go. Let's see if we can get some more foils. And then we have more LOB booster packs over there, but we're gonna move them to those Dark Crisis packs. You have Exodian Necros. So that I I guess in these, because we've opened up some of these and they never have a feather, I guess it's definitely not a misprint in the Portuguese. Oh, right, Guy the Dragon Champion Secret First Edition, wow. Woo, oh my gosh, that is awesome. Dang. We are on a hot streak right now. That is a dark magician and then a secret rare. Oh, we got a knuckle to that one. Woo! Oh my gosh. What a beautiful card. And, and another one, it looks like, it looks perfect. Like the centering and everything on it looks great. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Woo! Wow, what a beautiful looking card. Gosh. Look how gorgeous the secret rare is wow let's give this video a thumbs up for uh <laughs> guy of the dragon champion another power card for the yugi deck really cool go through uh go through those and uh, all right i think these are the ones i maybe i didn't go through these ones yet actually all right now we've officially gone through all the cards on to our next booster pack dark magician and guy of the dragon champion Back-to-back -back booster packs. Oh my gosh. LOB is loving us today, and hopefully we get some more love in these other LOB booster packs. They are English, and we have another one in that Kaiba tin as well. It's gonna be really awesome. Wow, so we've gotten just foil after foil after foil. A first edition polarization. Wow. That is awesome. Another really cool card. I, I, this is, they have an alternate art version of it. That my, my favorite art was the original, which is right here. Gorgeous looking. One of the most classic cards you've seen played in the series. Super first edition, Polymerization. Wow, oh my goodness. Woo. Well, eventually, I mean, I would imagine we're gonna pull some rares in here too. We are, uh, we are uh, running hot right now. Oh my gosh. Can't stop smiling, my cheeks are hurting right now from all the smiling. <laughs> what a great Christmas present. Wow, Beaver Warrior, very cool. We have Pit Dragon. 
And there we go. There is a rare, another instant fusion target. And this one right here burns your opponent for a 500 points of damage. Very cool. Those old school burn cards were scary back in the day. All right, move on to our next booster pack. Let's see if we can go and pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've already pulled Dark Magician and a Secret Rare. There's only two in here. You got the other one's Trihorn Dragon, which we pulled one uh, the other day, and it was in a booster pack that was all banged up. So that thing came out and it was all destroyed. Very sad. This one, this booster pack right here is actually a little bit warped too. As you can see, the Monster Egg has seen better day. Oh my gosh, I hope oh, it has a foil. Super Red Geki First Edition, and it's a... It's a little bit on the warp side, unfortunately. Very cool card to pull. Destroys all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. But this one is all warped up. Oh my gosh, that is sad. I hate seeing damaged classic cards like this. My goodness. But still, I think I can flatten it out. Toss a book on it, and we're going to flatten this bad boy out. And we will use it in a future deck. And we'll do a deck profile with our, with our first edition Portuguese Raigeki in it. All right, on to our next booster pack. Let's see, come on. We have a few more packs to go of this, and then we can see if we can get a blue eyes out of that. And if not, we got some English packs to try. That would be the perfect way to end the 2020 year with pulling a legendary blue eyes white dragon from a booster pack. That would be absolutely insane. The super rare trap hole, nice. This booster pack is a little bit warped, but not too bad. This one's, it's not like destroy. That trihorn dragon was actually like bad. So <laughs> I'm going to pray that I can get it flattened out. Nice though. A super rare trap hole, very cool. Obviously again, first edition. And we'll move over to our last three of these Portuguese booster packs. Then we will move over to those Dark Crisis packs. And maybe we can pull an Exodia Necros. This pack was really easy to open up. I hope it wasn't messed with. Let's see. It was like, <laughs> it felt like it opened up so easy. It was like it was already like opened. Oh, well, it has a full and it's super rare. First edition, Swords of Revealing Light, preventing your opponent from attacking you for three turns. Absolutely one-sided. You can attack, but your opponent can't. This is a very annoying card, especially when your opponent was able to get a Magician of Faith and flip and add it back to their hand, then prevent you again from attacking even longer. Oh my gosh. So annoying. Okay, on to our next pack. I only have two more of these to go. Two more chances out of the Portuguese to pull a Blue Eyes, but I am okay with what we have. We've gotten quite the haul from our 12 booster packs so far. Though we have a, what was this? Stop Defense. It's our rare right there, very cool. Skull Servant, and on to our last booster pack of the Portuguese, and then we will move over to Dark Crisis, and then some more LOB booster packs, and to see if we can get some more foils out of these LOB packs. But these, the other ones will be English, so that'll be, uh, that'll be nice. We'll be able to actually, well, I'll be able to actually read them. <gasps> oh, no way! Two Ultra First Edition Dark Magicians? Oh my gosh! Wow! I don't, oh no! Is this one Warp 2? Is it? Let me see. Let me move the light on it a little bit. No. Okay, it was, might have been just a reflection. Looks like it's a little bit though, huh? Like right up here? Yeah, yeah it's a little bit warped. Not terrible. Not terribly warped, so we will take it. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Another Ultra First Edition Dark Magician. Wow, that is awesome. Two in one and it was out of our 12 pack. That is crazy. All right, so let's put our foils up there next to Jerry Beans, man. And let's move over to our next part of our video here for our Christmas extravaganza. And that will be some of these these Dark Crisis booster packs. Again, they got like, you got Exodia Necros, which is featured right in the front of the card. And I think it's really, really cool. So it's basically Exodia on one card. So the picture of Exodia all in one. And I think that's really, really neat because uh, obviously with Exodia, normally you have to piece together all the other pieces to put him together. DB1, nice. IOC, you got some structure. We got some really classic commons out of this one, actually. Not bad. Not bad at all. Really cool. All right, so here is our Dark Crisis booster pack. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a foil out of here just in general. Man, I, I think we may, years ago, pulled a Exodia Necros, but man, it has been years. Let's see if we can try to do it again. That would be absolutely insane. Any foil we will take, that would be great. 
Ooh, nice. If you're not going to pull a foil, this is like the best rare you could possibly pull from it. Nice. Skill gen. You pay a thousand life points and the effect of all monsters on the field are negated. Very cool card. I've run this all kinds of different like anti decks. We will put that up there with our foils because that is a really nice pull. Very cool. Whoops. Yeah, there are some great cards in this set. Let's move over to our next Dark Crisis booster pack. And yeah, so it's like a little added bonus. I like it. I like uh, these little things you can find over like Walmart and other stores. You get the uh, you get the booster pack plus you get like these additional cards. Makes it really cool. I like it. Uh, add some extra cards to your guys's collections. And you get the, of course, you get the chance of pulling something absolutely epic. You guys have been sending me awesome messages on Instagram, showing me pictures of your polls. It has been so awesome. So thank all of you for messaging me on Instagram with your guys' polls and whatnot. I love it. Rare out of there. No foil as of yet. But, ooh, we got the Contract of Exodia. So we have another Exodia type card. Really cool looking. Yeah, there's some uh, really sweet looking cards in this set. I love it. Love the classics. Let's move Let's move these legendary packs up. Let's move these Dark Crisis packs down and see what we can get. We have a, nice, we have two foils out of this booster pack. Not, our booster pack, <laughs> these random cards, not bad. Sometimes you get a couple of rares. I've gotten shatter foils. I mean, whatever works. And we got our another Dark Crisis pack here. Let's see. Let's see if the Yugi, let's see if the Jerry Beans Man is on our side on this, on this booster pack right here. Nice, we got one of the Dark Scorpion cards. Uh, my favorite one is Don Zalug. Oh, a Fear from the Dark. It's actually a pretty cool looking rare. I ran in one of my old school zombie decks. I loved the zombie deck. Another Dark Scorpion card. Really cool. I wish they would have given more support for the Dark Scorpion. That would have been a really awesome deck just to play for fun. They had some, but they, uh, they didn't give it more. And we, got a couple, we have a Legendary Collection. Oh, and a Platinum rare. Really cool. That's fun. And we got some nice comments here. The Dark World Lightning. Very nice. Okay, now, on to our Dark Crisis pack here. Let's see. No foils as of yet. We've, the best pull I've gotten from Dark Crisis was that skill jet. Oh, nice. That's a good common. Drag down to the grave. I remember uh, with Dark World when it first came out. Buying three structure decks and literally all you needed was three drag downs and you had the deck basically complete. Oh, nice. Different Dimension Dragon. I remember seeing this in Kaiba's deck. On one of the episodes way back, he, uh, he, he summoned this guy. Really, really cool. So our first foil right here. Uh, different Dimension Dragon, super rare. And he is a level five. I'm not exactly sure what the card does. Uh, this card cannot be destroyed by uh, by the effect of spell or trap cards that that does not target it. Okay, so like Smashing Ground, Fisher, Regeki, Dark Hole, all those things, they have Mirror Force, so on and so forth. But targeting cards, like, like a Sakuratsu Armor would take it out. This card is not destroyed as a result of, uh, as a result of battle against a monster with an attack of 1900 or less. 800 or less. That's interesting. So they, okay. So if they basically they just normal summon something, they couldn't attack over it. That's interesting. I remember play, I remember having that card put on the board against me ages ago, and me having a difficult time getting over it. Actually, and here's another giant zombie right here. Very cool. All right. So we have our. We finally did it. Of a dark crisis. We pulled a foil. Let's go see if we can get another one out of our last dark crisis booster pack. But then we're gonna move over to the Legend of Blue Eyes. Maybe Jerry beansman has been saving up his energy for an, an epic LOB pull. That would be really, really cool. Okay. Oh, that is <laughs> that's goofy looking. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's move over. We let's move over the, the Kaiba tin over here on the side here. We have one more pack. Now everything is on screen. We can see it all. What is to come? Let's see right now. It is in Jerry Beans Man's hands. Let's see what we will get. A really cool. It's a field card, right? Yeah. <gasps> no way! We actually pulled the Exodia Necros! Oh my gosh! This is the card I really wanted! Woo! Oh my gosh, that is so awesome! 
Do you see how epic it is? You see why I wanted to pull it? Give this video a like for Exodia Necrons. Wow, that is so epic. Look at literally Exodia and one card. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this has to be the coolest looking four star monster in the game. Literally, you have Exodia the Forbidden One in one card. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. We got a high five to that one. Wow, that is so lucky. Our last Dark Crisis booster pack has a ultra rare Exodia Necros. Of all the hollows we could have gotten, or non hollows, we ended up getting the one that I really, really wanted. I'm so glad I'm able to show this to you guys. Look how absolutely epic this card is. Oh my gosh, wow. That is beautiful. Dang, that is really, really nice. Put that up there. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> I love that we pulled that. I mean, what are the odds too? All these random boost packs, they're not even from the same place. They're all like spread out. I got them from like, you know, like I said, like Target, Walmart, Rite Aid, whatnot. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have one of these. Uh, I believe this came from Walmart. <laughs> not sure, I have got it from a Rite Aid. I don't quite remember. Let's see, we got some LOB booster packs to come in English now. We got the Portuguese ones, and I know uh, I was getting some messages from you guys wanting me to open up some English ones, so now we open up, now we have some English ones we're gonna open up, and uh, obviously down the road I'm gonna try to get more English LOB booster packs for everybody to enjoy. Stay tuned for that, that'll be awesome. And then we all, again, we're gonna be doing this giveaway on this beautiful Genesis Impact booster box. I'll announce the winner in the comment section of our next video. So turn on those notifications so you get notified when I post my next video so you don't miss it. Electro Whip. You got a big old panda right there. Very cool. This card looks like something from like Final Fantasy. My friends all play Final Fantasy. I've never played, but I've watched them play. <laughs> Red Medicine, and... Oh, nice. Actually, a good Instant Fusion target. I'll take it. A rare Flower Wolf. Very nice. We'll put that down. You got the basic insect. Dragon treasure. Mm, cool. And creepy looking spider. And then we end things with a beaver warrior. All right, let's move over to our legendary packs. I was getting some of these, like I said, like from, from Rite Aid. Mostly from Rite Aid. Rite Aid had some. And like Target. Yeah. <laughs> Random stores. I, fee I see them while doing some uh, Christmas shopping. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, here we go. The Laser Dragon, Pit Dragon, very cool. The Silver Bow and Arrow, very nice. And, oh, right on, so that's the third, I, I miscounted. Nice, we got to end up getting a foil, Mystical Elf. Very nice. And she's beautiful, I love how the armor, how you see that, how the foiling they did on it, and then on her crown. I think that's really, really cool. And the background being blue with her blue skin. Gorgeous looking! This card always reminds me of uh, Yugi when his life points were getting low, and he said that the mystical elf has been chanting a spell while she's been in the, dis in the discard pile or the graveyard. And he gained life points off of her magical effects. Very cool. Right on. Alright, so we have the Spirit of the Harp. Very nice. And another Beaver Warrior, Silver Fang. A card that you see uh, Yugi summon a lot in the original series. Very cool. All right, on to our next legendary Blue Eyes pack. And then we're gonna open up that 2002 beautiful Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon Tin. I have been saving that for a special occasion and today is that special occasion. It is time. Root Water, very cool, and then, okay, well yeah, that was the last, last, last time it was, that one, that's where this foil was, and this one is not, okay. Oh, because there's a rare and a foil, alright, that's right, because the, the old school pack, you don't get, you either get a foil or a rare. We have the Giant Soldier of Stone, another power Yugi card, 2000 defense with 1300 attack, yes, 1300 attack, rock type monster. And a fairy for the Herald of Perfection deck, that's uh, one of the fairies that I ran in it. Back in the old school days, and on to our next Blue Eyes Legendary Pack. What a beautiful looking booster pack, too. You got Yugi and the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's kind of like his nemesis, too, being Kaiba. <laughs> being a Kaiba card. 
That's kind of cool having them both together on the same thing. You got Pit Dragon. Silver bow and arrow yet again. Tarot the Terrible. That is a goofy looking card. And, and we got a rare Final Flame. It's like 600 points of damage to your opponent's life points. And that's a... Uh, that might be the best burn card in this set, actually. I may be mistaken. I think that's it. Maybe there's one that burns for 800. I don't remember. In the in the in this set, obviously. And there's other cards. <laughs> obviously, a lot more burn cards have come out since uh, this set. This is the very first Yu-Gi-Oh set to ever come out. It originally came out in 2002. Crazy, right? Almost 19 years ago. The Thirteenth Grave. We got a beautiful little dinosaur there. Metabat. Skull Red Bird. And we had the cat, the, was it Cabalzal? Right, right, can't. Cabala, Cabala Warrior, oh, I don't know. Another instant fusion target, he's a level four, comes in handy. Nice little fusion, a lot of fusions in here are actually used for instant fusion targets, it's crazy. That's what makes Yu-Gi-Oh so special. This is one of those games where you can, you, can, you can build your deck from the first all the way to the newest set, doing a combination of all the cards. It really opens up a lot of creativity when you're building your deck, really, really cool. So if you're considering getting into the card game, there's a lot of deck building you can do. It's a lot of fun. All right, so this is our last legendary pack. Then after this, we're moving into the grand finale, the 2002 Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon Tin. And it'll be absolutely awesome. Monster Egg, another laser dragon. Pit Dragon, okay, just in case there is a foil. Okay, well, I guess that means there's no foil, right? Is that how it goes? Okay. <laughs> Goblin Secret Remedy. Increase your life points by 600 points. You have one rare that burns your opponent for 600, and you have one that makes you gain 600. Very cool. The Magical Moon. We got a nice little mermaid right there, and a uh, the blob. All right, so let's go and see. Here it is, everybody. One of the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh tins to ever be printed. Probably is the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh 10. <laughs> Honestly. So what do we got here? Includes two Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster packs, two Metal Raiders booster packs, and one Magical Ruler pack, and then one variant card. And that variant card is going to be that card right there. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh my gosh. All right. Are you guys ready? Let's get cracking, everyone. This is it. This is the buildup to this ep absolutely epic opening. Try to try to make sure that I don't go and scratch the tin. I've been keeping all of these beautiful classic tins. I've mentioned this before. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but one day you'll know <laughs> as I figured it out. It looks so much nicer without the wrapper on. Absolutely, just a beautiful, beautiful looking tin. A little bit of a mark right there. No big deal. You got Blue Eyes White Dragon. You got the old school Kaiba right there. It's his power card for his deck. Very, very nice. Let's, let's open you up. There they are. Our blue eyes white dragon awaits us in one of these classic booster packs. And there are two LOB packs, our two Metal Raiders booster packs, and then our one Magic Ruler booster pack. Very cool. I'll be careful with this last one here. Okay. All right. Let's see how the blue eyes looks. Is it? It looks, it looks a little, oops. <laughs> I almost drop it. Oh, dang it. Has a little bit of a bend on the corner there. That sucks. And the back's a little bit warm, but you know, I mean, it's been inside of a tin for, gosh, almost 19 years. I mean, you got to give the, the big guy a break. There it is. The legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon, everybody. Secret rare, the BPT-003. It is a little unfortunate that it has that little bit of a bend, but I mean, it still looks absolutely gorgeous. My all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card to ever be printed right here, everybody. Blue Eyes White Dragon, wow. Now this is going to probably be my, this and that Exodia Necroz, Paul. Oh my gosh, that is insane. All right, here we go. On to our Magic Ruler Booster Pack. It's been sitting here for almost 19 years. It's time for it to get a little bit of air. There we go. Wow. Let's see what we have here. Maybe we can pull like a Mystical Space Typhoon. Who knows? There's also those elusive secret rares. <laughs> The Hungry Recipe, very cool looking uh, ritual spell card <laughs> for the, was it the Hungry Burger? 
A Mega Ruaran is our rare. No foil out of here. It's like a tune, but he's not a tune at the same time. The Weather Reporter. Upstart Goblin. Very nice. Get a little common right here. It's so like, like, yeah, it's like $2.50, $3 common. I guess I'll put that up there, huh? Up there with our skill drain. Not too bad. All right, on to our Metal Raiders booster packs. I don't think we've ever pulled a Mirror Force from an MRD booster pack on the channel. I don't think I've ever pulled one in general. <laughs> so let's see if we can uh, if we can change that today. That would be insane. Now we got Black Skull Dragon here as well, which is really cool. Block Attack. The Cocoon of Evolution. It's actually a really cool looking common. I like that card quite a bit. And you got the Magician King, really weird card. Takes the Witch of the Black Forest and the Lady of Faith to fuse to make this rock and roll dude. And then the Elegant Egotist. So no foil out of our first booster pack. A nice Power My card though for her Harpy deck. Very cool. Looks like a uh, Final Fantasy card was a cho Chocobo or whatever. <laughs> I believe that's what it is, the name. On to our next booster pack, our Metal Raiders pack, our second one. And then we'll move over to the grand finale of our pack, which is going to be the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's see what we can pull out of there. Hopefully something absolutely insane. We have the Deep Sea Shark. Hi, everybody. Give me your energy. What needs to happen? We need to pull a foil from our MRD booster pack here. That's actually a really cool looking common. Another chocobo. Okay. Here we go. No foil. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got a rare. All right. So it's all building up to these last two booster packs, everybody. Give me your energy. It is time for us to pull a blue eyes, a dark magician, red eyes, or the unstoppable Exodia right now. It's time. Let's do it. Two more shots. These packs are very old. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something insane out of it. The Mammoth Graveyard, another one of those cool Yugi cards. Fire Grass, <laughs> quite the name. What is this? The Dark World Thorns, huh? And then we have our Red Medicine. And Spirit of the Harp is our rare right here. 2,000 defense, fairy, 800 attack, light, level 4. Okay, and we're going to be moving to our last booster pack in today's video. All right, give this video a thumbs up for some luck for that blue eyes poll. We'll see if we can go and get it. Skull Red Bird. All right, here we go. Our last booster pack. Our last chance. Pull something. Godly. M Warrior number one. Mountain. Very cool. Oh, what does this one do? A zombie monster equipped to the shield increases attack and defense by 300. It is a classic magic card. The Dark King of the Abyss. And. Stop defense, womp womp, no foil out of our 2002 tin other than the blue eyes white dragon they gave us. That is all right, you can't win them all. We got some incredible pulls early on in this video. Absolutely insane. And we end things with the powerful, the one and only Beaver Warrior. I'd say that Jerry Beansman did absolutely fantastic for us and again don't forget to check in for our next video i'll announce the winner for this genesis impact first edition booster box in the comment section of our next video so stay tuned for that all i gotta do to enter in give this video a like comment down below your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards you saw in today's video be a subscriber and if you have an instagram follow me on there say hi and i will always say hi back merry christmas everyone happy holidays happy new year thank you guys all so much for everything i love you all jobber here is signing out